everybody, it's 248 Shooter here, and today we have the VanQuest Envoy 2.0. Uh, this is the second version of the Envoy. Uh, it's an upgraded version from what they had recently, and this has just been released on the market. And we're going to delve into it and tell you a little bit about the bag. So, starting from the outside, we've got um, a padded uh, shoulder strap for the messenger bag. As you'll see with all the VanQuest products that we've talked about or reviewed, there is a very thick uh, foam material here, neoprene material, uh, that makes for a very comfortable carry. Uh, when you're dealing with a single sling pack uh, in a bag like this, it is incredibly important that you distribute the weight properly. And to work with that, they've also created this shoulder strap that allows you to move from the left to right position, depending on which side of the body you're carrying on. And you'll see here, uh, it's it attaches with these snaps, they're very high high quality, and you can pop those on either side. So again, this is completely ambidextrous for you. Or on the back, you'll see right here, we have a strap uh, to put for a roll cart. So when you're going on a long travel, uh, you've got your rolly bag, you can just pop this right on there, and it secures. And then there's two pockets on either side for some additional products, um, as well as a small personnel pouch for uh, cash, passports, things of that nature that you might want to keep close to your body. Um, we've got another pouch here, and here you can see the interior uh, Cordura material that they use, uh, that's a water resistant material. Um, the entire bag outside is done in 1000D Cordura uh, with DuPont Teflon water protection, um, and as is Customary on the VanQuest bags, they're using 550 paracord tied in a fish loop so that you can easily get a hold of it, grab it, move it, um, and then these zippers will lock. Moving towards the top of the bag, we've got two grab handles. And something I can't talk enough about. These grab handles are the softest material I've ever felt on a bag. Uh, when you're carrying a lot of weight, which you'll see when we open this up, there's a lot of weight in here. These are incredibly comfortable. They don't leave the marks in your fingers. You don't wind up with those, those bulging or tearing. Uh, this is just comfortable and easy to work with. And they offer you the dual bag, or the dual carriers, so you can get a really good grip on the bag. And then between them, you have yet another set of zips so that you can actually get full access inside of that bag with the bag locked and closed. You can even reach into the front panels from here. So you can reach everything in here. The only thing that we have noticed is that the 15 inch laptops don't really fit out this hole. They weren't designed to. So the only thing you're not gonna be able to get through this is the 15 inch laptop. Uh, but if you do need to carry a weapon with you, or spare magazines, or you know, even a trauma kit, or a utility pouch, you can grab those items no problem. Moving to the front of the bag, we've got a patch panel that is also molly across the top patch here is Velcro or hook and loop, um, but it also is molly attachable. So you can put additional pack, uh, molly attachments there as well as molly attachments on either side. Um, this is perfect for setting up something like the uh, Nalgene water bottle holder that VanQuest makes or any of the competitors make so that you can fit what you have on there and put a dump bag, Nalgene bottle holder, any number of different attachments. This makes it a versatile modular solution. So in addition to that, one thing that we've noticed here is the way that the straps actually attach to the bag, you'll notice they're done on an angle. And instead of a, a loop with a clasp, like you'll traditionally see on these types of bags, um, where the bag will wobble and flop as you're maneuvering, because this is on the angle, when you do wind up throwing this bag across your shoulder, it's in line with the angle that you're carrying. As you move it around back, again, it stays in line with the angle that you're carrying, and it holds the bag flat against your body. You have two pouches 
that are deep here along the front. You can get an idea how deep that is. For additional storage, I like to keep my metrics bars, flashlights, things that I might need to access quickly. Don't want to open the whole bag for. The bag itself has two very high quality buckles here. And this is to secure since when you're carrying here, all that weight is being pulled here. Uh, so with those buckles, there's no issue, but they've actually used a very, very high quality hook and loop. And as you'll notice, even fully loaded, this bag doesn't pull across that hook and loop. Opening it up, you can see that it opens nicely. There's additional protection here and here so that uh, if you are traveling on a bike as a bike messenger or uh, you're dealing with any kind of travel or transportation outside in the rain or water, that water is not going to get underneath that flap and up into the bag. These help to protect that. Inside, you'll find, or let's go across the front first, we've got a Velcro pocket or a hook and loop pocket here that runs the full length down the front. You've got four spots for pens. Behind that is another hook and loop pocket. And then above that is another zipper pocket. And again, you can see that there is lots of space to store items in this bag. Moving inside the bag, we've got more hook and loop pockets that are very deep. We have space for multiple admin pouches. We use their Molly to hook adapter so that you can actually hook this to the hook and loop that's actually inside of there. As you can see, it will also fit a pistol, which is secured with hook and loop and spare max. Behind that, we have another set of pockets and then space for a full 15 inch MacBook. All of this material is water, uh, water resistant. Um, you're, you're not gonna have a situation where if you were to put a Nalgene bottle inside of here and it's sweat, uh, that's gonna become an issue against your bag. This is, this is double coated in water resistant material and it really creates nice insulation. The bag itself, while it has Molly attachments across it and it does have patch panels, you can see that uh, both in this color and some of the other colors. It doesn't have the military style look that some of the competitive bags have. Um, they've done their best with the 2.0 version to streamline the bag, reduce some of the additional bulk that was on the previous bags, and really make this something that you can build out as you see fit. If you're an EDC carrier, if you're a uh, person that's just taking this for IT, it doesn't matter what type of loadout you're looking for, you can make it fit. So take a look, see if this is something that's going to fit into your life. This is 248 Shooter with the VanQuest Envoy 2.0. Check it out, and we look forward to seeing you again.